Hey guys, this is the final video um, I want to do for you guys. Uh, do a little bit, show a little bit of the Open Choice desktop program from Tektronix, which uh, is able to load up the CSV files and the screenshot files and display them as if you're looking right at the scope. It's pretty nice. So, what I have here is test number 18, and it's sheet 18 in that test and we're looking at channel 2 data this is the pulse for channel 2 and you can see the scallops on the uh, on the harmonics and we're going to open up the the open choice I've loaded up that same file the CSV file now this has all of the uh, all of them overlaid but we can still see those scallops there uh, just just like in in the Excel spreadsheet now one of the nice things about this is even though this represents only 10,000 points of data when Glenn takes his screenshot the screen capture at the higher resolution which this is a 100 nanosecond shot he's got 10,000 points of data right here on this shot and we can actually see these spikes okay and that's really nice because it tells us that we need higher resolution in this area to show to show you that looking back at the spreadsheet okay th this is channel one up here and if you reference it off of where th where that channel two spike is you'll see that you have a low transition it's it slides up across that channel two spike and then it drops to a bottom point and then it has these real fast spikes there just a few nanoseconds apart and then it goes into you know re repeated uh, oscillations okay and these are very important because this is our channel one current and we take this current value and multiply it times the battery voltage to determine what our battery consumption power is if these aren't in the data then the data is flawed and we don't have a good handle on how much power we're actually using so let's look at the data itself here here's our channel 2 spike so we're expecting the channel 1 to come up across here uh, you know somewhere you know right at 20 and, and come up across like that so we'll look at channel 1 and right here's 20 sure enough it's it's coming up and then it's sliding back down and then we just have the repeated waveforms we don't have those spikes in the data you see let me let me change the chart type and actually show you the points we just don't have enough points in other words our sample rate from here to here is 40 nanoseconds and from here to here is 40 nanoseconds so those four and five nanosecond spikes that occur in between these two points right here they just they're just missing and the only way to get those is to use one of these these Tektronix DPO scopes that can give us that high capture rate like the DPO 3054 it can do up to five million samples on a screenshot and that's what we really need uh, to, to apply to find out what all we're possibly missing along with this wonderful open choice desktop program which gives us an after view of the, the screenshots see so we can see well hey there's something here and it's not in my data so I needed more resolution in my samples to to pick these things up that we're missing so that's what I wanted to share. I didn't want to, you know, spend a lot of time on this, but I did want to indicate that it, it's nice to have the visual representation here to to look back at our our overview envelope and say, well, yeah, you know, there's there's the same kind of shape. So that's a real harmonic. These dips aren't being caused by a, a loss of of data. You know, if if and I I use that term if because if we have a high enough value see this is only 10,000 points we don't know if we're losing data right here 
If this said a hundred thousand points, then I would say, ah, okay, we're you know this is a real harmonic. But when it only says ten thousand, I well you know I, I I really need to to use the features that are built into these wonderful DPO scopes and and find out if we're missing data or if we're if we're looking at harmonics. So there we go. Um, enjoy, and we'll talk to you guys later.